Take no prisoners, or prisoners. Take no prisoners. Why can't I say the word prisoners? This is from Autograph CVT guitar solo lesson for Kyle. Kyle, you always pick fabulous solos, man, and songs. Tuning for this is standard. I'm not sure if this is Steve Lynch. It's a tapping thing that sounds like him at the end, but I know they had another guitar player too. So um, let's jump in at 238.15b. We're gonna bend it twice. Vibrato, the second one. Then, 15B again, hold for a, you know, very short amount of time, bend, release, pull off to 12, it's, and you do it four times. It sounds like this, times four, which gives you, and then bend the 15 again, so you have... And you jump right up here to 15E, upstroke, 17B, downstroke, step and a half, bend. That's a three fret bend. If you need to test it, then go here, fret 17, which is where we bend, and pick fret um, 20. That's where we're going. A little A Van Halen thing. That's gonna be five times. Okay, then jump back here, middle 15B, slide to 17. It's like a little pedal riff. Every other note will be the 17B. Your melody, that's pe the passing tone, is on the high E, 15, 17, 15, 19. So that would, and it's, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up, straight through. It sounds like this. Use that middle as a shift. That's how I would do it. But you can go you want just experiment because the frets are smaller I try to conserve on uh, the amount of fingers I use and then 15 and then 14 okay after you go 17 15 17 14 which would be you're gonna go 15 B down up 16 G down Pull off to open, whammy bar. All right, let me do that again. Get a good pull off off that 16G. So we have... Okay, 18, or fret 8 on the B, this is at 248, we're going to bend, hold, release, slide to 10. See what happened there? Whammy swoop up to 10, and pull off to 8, slide to 7, so you have, so we have, Whammy swoop up on the seven, hammer eight, go three B, hold, hammer five, pull open, and then whammy vibrato. Now, a little hint here, Kyle, like you can catch the high E if you're worried about it ringing when you pull off the five B. See, I'm grabbing it with my third finger. So you don't go. Little tricks. 254 timestamp, index finger, 2G, slide to 5. And there's a little shift going to happen here between 5B, 5G palm mute, 8B, 5G palm mute, 7B. Do that twice, but you don't have to slide the second time. So basically the riff there is... Cool run, huh? After that, 4G, you're right next to it, hammer 5, 7, slide 9, and then get to the B string. 
When you get to the B, hammer 8, 10, pull 8, 7. Slide to 5, so. Okay, moving along. 5, hammer 7, 8. Same thing on the E. Slide to 10, pull 8, 7. That run sounds like this. Oops. Experiment with fingering. The textbook fingering is probably the best for this. Alright, after that, 10B. And then we need 12B index. Hammer 15, slide 17. Go to 14E. It's uh, basically a hammer pull stuff. 14, 15, 17, 15, 14. Picking only the initial note. That gives you... Seventeen B bend fourteen E seventeen E and B bend so you have nineteen E seventeen B bend down up fourteen E so you have oof seventeen B bend fourteen E so a lot of the same ideas. Top of page three, 15, 16, B, G, pull off to the, or actually no pull off, we'll just go. Whenever you do whammy stuff that drops, the strings are gonna loosen at some point, right? Well, the whole way down. At some point they're gonna wanna vibrate. Try to mute around that stuff. That's what, what why you see my hand, the way it's landing. Because we don't want it's so easy to get unwanted noise there. All right, the last riff. This is a little tough to hear with the delay, um, but it's cool. But uh, what's written out? Twelve hammer, fifteen B. This is going to be all tapping, and then when we get to the high E. We're going to tap nineteen, twelve, fifteen, nineteen. Oops. Pull fifteen, pull twelve. So let me do that just on the high E. And then tap 19B, pull 15. Do that five times. It's really cool. And then tap 19B. Then we go 12, 15, 19, 15, 12. Then we're going to go 18G with our tap, 14, 18, 12, 14, 18 tap, 14, 12, so. Nineteen D, so we're gonna tap that, go 12, 14, tap 19, pull 14, Pull 12. So that one is this. Mess around just with those single strings, Kyle. Like, just... You know, you can come up with cool ideas off of that. And then after that, he does natural harmonics on 7, D, and G. He'll hit him, and he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 